Yo, straight into it. So how much size should you be using on your own account? Now, this is a question in which a lot of people might come into. And this is a very important topic because this key topic right here is the reason why people don't make it within trading. Uh, people may make a whole bunch of money trading, millions of dollars even, but some people have even come into the factors of losing all of that money just because of this key simple factor that they're not taking into an account as serious as they should be, and that's going to be risk management, okay? So risk management is going to be the amount of money that you're prepared to lose if you lose your trade, okay? So that is how you guys are going to know what risk management is. So that's the definition, okay? Boom. So how do we know how much size to use on our account? Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and bust out some math for you guys. Let's say you have a $1,000 account, right? Boom. You have a $1,000 account. You never want to be trading with more than 10% of your account at a time. Once again, you never want to be trading with more than 10% of your account at a time. So if the amount of money you're ready to lose on your stop loss which you guys should always know where your stop loss is going to be before you even decide to enter a trade. You need to know when you're going to exit, whether if you hit your stop loss or your take profit. So before we can even utilize risk management, we need to understand how to find the setups and we need to understand where we're going to be placing our stop loss in a reasonable place so we can still have some flexibility for price action to do its thing. And we're not just going to be getting instantly clipped out of the trade. And we're also going to be able to um, know how much we're going to be losing and make sure that's within our risk parameters. OK, so once again, you never want to be trading with more than 10 percent of your account at a time. This is going to just completely devastate you guys when you take a loss because you're going to be like, dang, off of one loss, I just took a mighty chunk off of my account. I just took a mighty hit. And it's not going to feel good. So you want to come into the place and you want to come into a place on the charts and within your mind coming into the framework of, OK, I'm ready to lose 10 percent of my account at the maximum. You guys can even do smaller percentages. You guys can even do 5 percent. Some people do 2 percent. Some people do 1 percent. But keep it underneath 10 percent of your account, because I promise you, if you guys ever, God forbid, if you guys ever lose one trade, and you lose over 50% of your account or say you even blow the whole thing off of one trade, you're going to be feeling some type of way and it's really going to impact you in a significant way. And it's not going to be a psychological advancement that's going to be positive. You guys are going to get into a negative mindset and you guys might even garner some fear to trade. You know, that's why some people think, oh, trading is a scam. Trading is a How is trading a scam when millionaires and billionaires are literally doing it? Just because you lack patience and you don't know how to identify the setups, where the key volume is, even though there's tons of education out there, stackmode.net and my videos, you guys can pretty much just make it, okay? But you have to come into account. You have to put all the core pieces into place. It's like a big puzzle. That's how trading is. You find the setup, get one piece, get your risk management in place. That's another piece. Make sure you guys are withdrawing and staying consistent. Find your setup style. That's another piece. And put it all together and just get into your flow of consistency so you're ready to change your life. Okay? Now, if you guys are trading with maybe, let's say you have a smaller account, right? Let's say you have a $100 account. You may need to use a little more risk. Um, so you're not going to be able to have exact percentages. But I'll say you guys will be able to have nice percentages. I'll say it around $200. Because at $200, you guys can easily um, trade micros on futures or something like that. Or trade some Forex and stuff like that too. And you guys can actually set your stop loss using the micro accounts. So it's within your risk management. So let's say, for instance, if I'm trading the YM or the ES. Let's do ES, for example. So if I'm trading ES on futures... Uh, the risk management I like to use is my stop loss is normally around 20 to 30 ticks on ES, right? That's a nice range that I'm comfortable with that I've found has been pretty probable and works within my setups. So you do have to take an account again. Boom. What do I like to trade? Okay. So if you guys like to trade the YM, for example, um, a stop loss for there that's pretty probable is around 40 to 60 ticks. Um, so just make sure you calculate your risk management based off of that. You guys can actually get on trading view and you can do the uh, create new order. Go ahead and use that button. Lots of commotion going on for y'all, my bad. But still, you guys can actually use the um, create new order option to actually calculate your stop loss before the uh, trade even takes place. OK, so you can see, OK, if 
I lose 40 ticks, how many micros can I play with so that matches with my risk management? So if I have a $200 account and the maximum I'm willing to lose is, let's say, $20, for example, you're going to need to go to trading view, go to the create order section, and then you're going to be able to see, okay, I can play with two micros or I can play with one micro within a 40 tick stop loss. And that's going to be within my risk management and that's going to match my parameters. Okay. So you guys do have to just get into that flow. You guys do have to just get into the way of pretty much thinking, okay, even if I do lose this trade, I'll be perfectly fine. You know, even if you guys do do less than 10% of your account, the reason why I like to say 10% of your account at the max is because you're going to have 10 trades before you blow your account. So you're going to have 10 trades before your account is completely gone. Okay. So if you end up doing 5%, then you're going to have 25 trades before your account is completely gone. Right. But your wins are obviously going to be a little bit smaller. So it really just depends on the type of trader you are and the level that you're at as well. Um, if you're a little bit more comfortable and more confident within your setups, let's say you guys have a little bit more savings or a little bit more bread put to the side, then you guys are easily going to be able to go ahead and come to the factor of, oh, I can trade with 10% of my account just fine. Because if I lose, I'm it's whatever. But if I'm playing with my risk management and I lose 10%, let's say I win. Let's say I win a one to three, right? So a one to three, boom. So you win that. Let's say, let's say on a thousand dollar account, right? Let's say your 10% is going to be a hundred dollars. Every time you win, let's because we always want to be playing for a minimum of a one to three or one to four risk to reward ratio. This way that when you guys do win, you guys can invalidate a whole streak of losses. And it's going to be a lot easier to compound your account when you're taking those higher quality setups and meeting those risk to reward ratios. Your account's going to grow a lot easier and a lot faster. But let's say you do lose $100, right? Perfectly fine on a $1,000 account. Now you're uh, $900. Let's say you lose again. Now you're $800. Let's say you win. It. Let's say you lose again. Now you're at 700 right? You're at $700 now from three trades. Let's say you win one, one to four. Now you're at $1,100. let us say you win another one to four. Now you're at $1,500, if I'm not mistaken. So there's so many, so many, so many variables that comes into play when you guys do master risk management and you understand the power of using risk to reward ratios. Okay, You're going to be able to just completely compound your account, but people aren't growing their account. And it's so frustrating because people don't have this systematic system in place within their brain and in their structure. The only reason people aren't growing their account is because they're not trading with proper risk management and they're not hitting their risk to reward ratios. That's it. You fix those two issues and you guys start catching high probability setups. And Shalom, God wills, I promise you guys, you guys will be profitable and see a big change. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay prayed up. Keep grinding. Peace.